ladies and gentlemen, to the 30-year commemorative event celebrating the friendship of Wayne, Sergio, and Michael. And tonight, your special guest and host, none other than Michael Vine. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just thought I'd come in and say a few words, you know. Have a couple of laughs with some buddies. You know, laugh it up, laugh it up. <laughs> thank you. Keep it down. Keep it down. So anyway, um, I was I was just, you know, thinking about how it was being friends with those guys and uh, how good it was. And in the four years we were in high school, we never shared the same classroom. That is, we never, not one and or two of us shared the same class. And I, I wondered why. Why is it that they never put us in the same room? And I realized it. It's because of you, Wayne. You and those damn piranhas. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, they decided that if we put the three of us together, you and those piranhas, they'd probably have to close the whole school. Yeah, right, right, right. Thank you. But here's the, the thing. Um, they say jokes are really just, uh, you know, stories of real life that are told in a different way. And uh, I, I thought of a joke about those days. The three of us, you know, we, st we sat there uh, eating lunch for four years in the same place. We're almost like... Uh, statues where the pigeons would want to come and sit, right? And, uh, but it never happened, but there were other kids that actually sat near us because we were almost like an institution. One of those kids was Arthur Miller. I don't know if you remember Arthur, but Arthur always said the same thing for lunch. So here's the joke. There were these three kids, right, that always had sack lunches, and they always said the same thing. And they always did the same thing. That was ask each other what they had for lunch. So one day, one kid says, you know what, if I have chopped liver one more day, I'm going to go jump in the Lake Michigan. And the second kid, he looked at his sack lunch and he says, you know what, if I have veal parmesan or uh, eggplant parmesan, I'm going to go jump in Lake Michigan. And the third kid looked at his lunch and says, you know what, if I have apple butter, I'm going to follow you and I'm going to jump into Lake Michigan also. So the next day, the lunch period came on, they looked in their lunches, and what do you know? One kid, he had chopped liver. What did he do? He went and he jumped into Lake Michigan. Second kid looked, what did he have? Eggplant. Went and jumped in the river. Third kid, Looked in his sack, no different. Apple butter. He went and jumped in the river. So soon after, there was this big funeral, you know, and a lot of family and friends. Many there were questions. Why would these three boys do themselves in? And there were these three ladies, you know, grieving. And one mother says, You know, if I had known he wanted something other than a chopped liver, I would have made it for him. And the other lady said, You know, if I knew he wanted something other than eggplant, I would have, I would have made it for him. And the third lady said, oh, son of a bitch, he made his own lunch. And I'd like to just thank you once again for being with me. And uh, we had a strike here and the guy was supposed to run and the machine didn't show up. So please pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. I thought when I bought this thing, I would be able to use it. There it is. Yeah. You know, life is a comedy in itself. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.